Well, Voice of Hope reports that in Lubbock last year, there were 60 human trafficking cases. That's why the United Grocery Family teamed up with Voice of Hope and United Way today to talk, about their, to, talk to their truck drivers about how to identify women and children who are being trafficked. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski attended the event to speak to participants. It made me mad that I had to put my friend in the ground and not tell her I'm sorry for what had happened to her. Kenneth Castillo remembers the girl he took to the dance at age 14. Today he shared a story to a group of truck drivers participating in a special training put on by the United Family. She was killed in a car accident and I went to her wake. When I went to her wake I found out why she was a foster kid. She was a foster kid because her mom sold her to men for money and drugs from the ages of five until she was almost 12 years old. 54 truck drivers participated in a two-part training over the last few months. Cash Egan with Lano Industries says our truck drivers have a unique ability to provide help to victims. And a lot of this activity actually takes place at, at places where they might stop, truck stops, uh, on the side of the road, diners. Yes, we're out there on the road and we see what others can't see. Egan says a lot of the training has hit close to home. In addition to being truck drivers, a lot of them are fathers, uh, their uncles, uh, some of them are grandfathers and they have granddaughters and nieces and daughters out there. Yeah, I worry about, I got kids and grandkids and, you know, sisters and so, you know, um, it's a thought. Brenda Lipinski, KLBK.